Dear viewers, we're coming back to you after Ramadan and Eid al-Fitr break, when ethically, religiously, and socially, vandals were expected to stop their terrorist activities, endangering lives and damaging public and private property. Unfortunately, they continued without any consideration for the holy occasion of Ramadan, which need to be respected by all, in order to expose the terrorist activities which their perpetrators continue to claim as a peaceful act. We present to you this episode of the Security Report. Sunday, 3rd of Ramadan, July 22nd. A group of thugs burned tires on Wali Al Ahad Road near the pedestrian signal in Bury. By the time police arrived on the scene, the vandals had run away. The fire was extinguished by the police patrol and civil defense teams. One group burned 18 tires on both sides of a road in Salmabad before fleeing the scene. The fire was brought under control and the road was reopened by civil defense. Wednesday the 6th of Ramadan, July 25th. Around 20 thugs blocked internal roads in Citra with trash bins, stones and pieces of wood. When police were deployed, they were attacked with stones and Molotov cocktails. Legal action was taken against the lawbreakers. Another group of thugs burned nine tires on Sheikh Khalifa bin Salman Road near Bakawa and also placed a strange object on the road before fleeing the scene. Security authorities arrived to the scene and after extinguishing the fire, the object was examined and turned out to be a bomb which was seized by the explosive detection team. The road was reopened. Thursday, 7th of Ramadan, July 26th. Around 50 thugs blocked internal roads in Jid Ali and South Sehla with trash bins, stones, and pieces of wood. Police were deployed in the area, but they were attacked with stones and Molotov cocktails. Legal action was taken against the lawbreakers. Sunday 10th Ramadan, July 29th. On this day, around 50 thugs burned garbage in Nabi Salah and legal action was taken against them. A strange object was reported near Bahrain National Bank on Road 1 and Citra. The authorities concerned closed the area for the explosive detection team to examine the object. It turned out to be a fake bomb and was removed from the site. The security situation was then normalized. Monday 11th of Ramadan, July 30th. About 120 lawbreakers also took part 
in an illegal rally in Mamiya, legal action was taken against them immediately. When one of the thugs was fleeing, another one fused a line extending to a strange object which exploded without causing any injuries or damage. The object was sent for examination. هذا تخريب لاقتصاد البلد هذا تخريب لسمعة البلد هذا قطع أرزاق العالم احنا رجال أعمال يا أخي عندنا شركات وعندنا مؤسسات ولازمنا نحب البلد هنا ونحب نشتغل في البلد بس العالم هذه قطع الأرقاب ولا قطع الأرزاق نعم يعني بصراحة الأعمال التخريبية هذه ايش فايدة أنا من رجال الأعمال هنا وما أحب أتكلم كثير زين بس إنه أنت تخرب البلد بالشكل هذا أنا بصراحة يعني أعتقد إنه الآن حان الأوان إنه نمنع الأشياء هذه الله يجزيكم خير يعني إحنا نتفهم نقطة إنه الجماعة هنا عاد عن إنهم يحرقون توائر ها حاطين اجسام غريبة على اساس تعطيل زيادة عن تعطيل زيادة عن اللزوم وكذا والامور هذه والله يجزيكم خير وانتم تقومون بواجبكم وما تقصرون. اول شيء يعني أوكي. الحمد لله رب العالمين يعني كل شيء اوكي يعني with your help يعني everything is fine. بس احنا يعني وايد we're very scared right now ما اعرف ايش تسوي يعني. الحمد لله انتم موجودين يعني اذا انتم مو موجودين ايش تسوي الحين يعني؟ ان شاء الله تغلى بابا السؤال فاضي وانا ادري لي متى يعني. ساعة ثم ساعة أنا وافيد والله الصراحة نتمنى نفتك من هالسالفة ذي تغربلنا يا في كل متى يعني تخيب أخر الصراحة ساعة حاجين لحم ورحمة صراحة سندرني مو أول مرة مو أول مرة نعم هذا حياة لا تك شغلة مستعبة غريبة هذا حصل على ساعة لربع هذا إحنا وافيد One of the females used to create chaos and disruption went to Al Khadim roundabout and began shouting illegal political slogans. This resulted in a traffic jam and disrupted people's movement. One of the affected was a woman with a sick child who she wanted to take to hospital through Sheikh Khalifa bin Salman Road in order to seek urgent medical attention. A police patrol was deployed to the area with police women and special security forces. The female protester was arrested and taken to the police directorate. A group of thugs burned four tires on Badea Road before fleeing to Bani Jamra after noticing a police patrol. They escaped to an unknown area. Monday 18th of Ramadan, August 6th. Around 25 thugs burned some 15 tires, poured oil, and placed a strange object on Sheikh Khalifa bin Salman Road near Bakawa. Legal action was taken against them while authorities concerned were deployed in the area and the fire was extinguished by the civil defense. The strange object turned out to be a fake bomb that was then handed over to the police directorate.
Monday the 25th of Ramadan, August 1st, around 80 vandals attacked police with Molotov cocktails, stones and iron rods near the entrance to Mamir. They were dispersed and legal action was taken against them. After a while, an explosion was heard in the area. Dear viewers, security and safety of society are the ultimate goal and noble mission of the Ministry of Interior. And all the ministries, departments work to achieve this round the clock. Policemen will continue to be the protectors of the nation by stopping terrorists and those who try to harm the country and its people. Thank you for watching and hope to meet you once again next week.